What is up, everybody? I am Super Beast GN. I have two questions for you today. Do you like Golgari and do you like elves? If your answer to either of those questions are yes, then this deck is a yes for you. Uh, we are going to be playing Tyvar, Jubilant Brawler, um, and uh, a bunch of elves. We're going to be playing a lot of elves. Oh, so many elves. And we're basically going to be able to flood the field or make our creatures big and attack in for lethal. We do have stuff. We have a bunch of removal, like uh, Binding of the Old Gods, Lean on the Veil, uh, Go for the Throat, Infernal Grass. Basically, our green side is all elves, and our black side is all removal. Uh, we have some big things like uh, Nyssa. Uh, it's kind of like a Crater Hoof Behemoth effect, we, you know, a late game. Uh, I don't have Crater Hoof Behemoth in here because I did not have the uh, Mythic Rare wild card. But, uh, hey, if you have it, put it in the deck. <laughs> uh, I would put that in instead of Izoni. Um Izoni is not great for this deck, but she is good in conjunction with um, Poison Tip Archer. Because uh, it's possible with with the millage of Tyvar, it is possible to get a bunch of insects on the field. And if they die um, while Poison Tip Archer is on the field, your opponent's going to lose a lot of life. Uh, but that's really just for swarming the field and all that kind of stuff. Also drawing cards. There's a lot of card draw on this. Beast Whisper and all that. And uh, yeah. So um, yeah, so basically just... Uh, Bunch of elves, removal, all that kind of good stuff. And, uh, you know, a bunch of green-black lands. The average lands you would put in a Golgari deck. Let's see how the deck does. Let's get right into it. And uh, see how it does against those other crazy decks that are in circulation. I'd actually have a chance against Itali. Especially going first, too. We snow-covered into Elvish Mystic, into Elfish Druid. That's what we do. He wants to ramp. Ooh, no bueno, actually. Wants to ramp. Rishkar comes out next, I think. Um... I guess it doesn't matter, right? We just have a lot of things out. Every time we play a creature card, we draw a card now. I like that. Need stuff in the graveyard for Izoni to be good. What you got? Chaos Warp. Okay. What, what does that mean to me? I don't care about that. Oh, okay. Cool. Attacking baby. Imagine you kill that. The less you ramp, the more you can't. I mean, well, I mean, yeah, the less ramp you have, the more that you cannot uh, summon your Itali. I didn't even know Chaos Warp was in this game. Insane. I think we just poison tip Archer next turn. Ooh. We can wait on the poison tip. Um. Put it in your hand. Draw a card. Cool. Draw another card. Elves, baby. Bro, so if I don't really run artifacts or, or enchantments, so this is going to be very useless to you. I mean, you're going to gain three life. There is that. Ancient Copper Dragon. Still don't think that's enough, man. Wait, is this whenever another creature dies? Okay. So I will lose three life, and he will lose one life. Attack, baby. All right, you're at 
10, but you're at 9. Alright, what do you get? Probably, hopefully not Ulamog. It was not Ulamog. It was actually nothing, and yours was... Okay, that was... Big ol' whiff. But you do get a gain of life thing. Alright. Draw a card. Um, draw another card. Got it. Uh, Elvish Arch Druid. Add green for each creature you control. Cultivate. Cool. So your Atali's like absolutely useless if it doesn't die and come back. So there's that. We got three right now. I mean, there's that. We can get ten on the field. Woo! That'll be awesome. All right, I think it's time to summon Tyvar. He summoned his uh, commander, now it's time for me to summon mine. Unless they do something crazy like wipe the board, and I hope they don't. Okie dokie. Um, what do I want to do? All lands, all the time, baby. Um... Draw in those cards. What's this do? Oh, cast creature spells. I think I win here. Oh, I don't need... Oh, I do need that. Okay. Oh. Hopefully it's another elf. If we can do another elf, that'd be great. Oh, hey. Hello. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just won the game, right? Because he has to be able to block so he doesn't take 10. I don't really care if he kills anything. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I was yawning. <laughs> I was stretching and yawning. Yep, there we go. Baby. Golgari Elves! Um, no. This is not going to take. Uh, before we even find another land, Tom Bombadil will bore us with one of his stories. So, uh... Yeah, definitely not keeping this, right? Yeah, no. Why, why am I, like, so low on lands here? And it's only a besage. Like, what? What? What are the odds? All right, let's see. That's better, and it's free. So yeah, but we don't look at that. We don't have any of the mana dorks. <sighs> of course not. Get scry one though. Uh, we don't need that right now. We have Anissa, and she's much better at this moment. Well, not at this moment, but you know. Um. You could probably get cut down if they're using cut down. Usually these decks don't use cut down though. Not in this format. Where's all your uh, crazy sagas though? Usually like you have at least two by now. Swords to plowshares. I'll gain that life. I don't care. Um... Let's look at the land. We're going to need it to recast Tyvar. Yeah, I guess we'll do this. 
You got something to kill it, really? <laughs> Dude, people are so hard up to kill commanders, like... Bro, hand? Yeah? Wow, really? We can win. Go ahead and do that. We're going to have a, a Great Henge at some point. Someday. What? Why? What? Bombadil, where are you going? Where are you going, Bombadil? What? You just maybe you couldn't find the land, and I just had too much land. I guess that's probably it. This is bad. Free mulligan, also bad. Oh, good god. Ugh, fine. And we're going second. Eh, whatever. I don't care. Not something I want to. It was it was a fourth loss. Tom Bombadil again. Yeah, we'll keep this. We've got some stuff to do. Tom Bombadil with his stories, yes siree. There you go. Um, let's see. Snow covered swamp. What can we do? Hmm. We do the Blood Chief's Thirst on this. We can't. Hmm. You know what? I'm okay with that. Let's just attack. Let's get their ramp down because that. Chromatic Lantern. No. Oh, what are the odds, man? Well, I guess the same odds as this. Um, Alrighty, here we go. Three. Yes, we are going to put all the lands on top. We need lands. See what we got on the top. Springleaf drum, sure. Play as much as possible in one turn, yes, siree. We got end race forerunners. That's pretty good. Uh, we can growing rights of Illamok. Hour of promise. Two black zombie creature tokens. Uh oh. That's a sorcery though, so I'm okay with that. Oh. Overgrown tomb. Right. Um. Hmm. If we sit here for a second, you think they'll give up? I should have done this first. Um, sure. My wings are not for the weak. Growing rights of it, Lamak. <clears throat> um. Get that going. Attack for three. Three one. Pretty dangerous, weak as hell, but does a lot of damage if it can get in uncontested. Here we are, here comes Bomb Tom Bombadil. Oh yeah, that's that's the least of your worries, my guy. I'll be honest. Swords to plowshares, okay, that was part of your worries, but you know. You got anything in here that I could get? What does this do? Non-creature spells your opponent. Um. All right, if we put the pressure on like this. Uh, hold on. I think we just do this. Oop. Cancel. Um. Yeah, I think we do it like that because this thing's going to die soon. Um. And do we have anything in here? No, we do not. So, let's mill. Nothing. Okay, well. Had to try, right? So here comes Tom Bombadil, no? 
Uh, take action, sure, yeah. We have trample. We do have trample. Milling some cards. All oh, that millage. I'm talking about that mill. Wow. <laughs> okay. Battle of Frost and Fire. Isn't that like uh, Game of Thrones? Or is that a song of like wind and... I don't know. Chicken. Mm -mm -mm. And let's go. Take my hand. Trample, baby! Probably should have waited on that, but I don't have any more creatures. Okay. Exile target non-land permanent. What is the, um, do we want to keep Tyvar? What's it going to be? F uh, five, six, seven. We have enough. I'm okay with that because we probably won't draw anything good anyways. It'll probably just be a land. Don't I know it? Today we carve our deeds into rally, my friend. Uh, decline. I don't want to land on the top of my deck. Um, let's see. Yeah, might as well sacrifice food. Um, okay, so no good blocks here. Tom Bombadil, all about that life. Now we have a growing rights of Itlamok, gives us four extra. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do? Uh, okay. How did, I thought it was returning it to my hand. How did it die? Uh, okay. I have no idea what the hell just happened. Each opponent sacrifices a creature unless they discard a card. Sure. That's gonna be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I I have enough. Bro, you know you're just hurting yourself, right? Probably. You know what? I probably should have done something different on that one. Share in my glory. A lot of sagas, baby. A lot of sagas. Sacrifice a creature. I mean, what are we gonna do? You know what I've never seen in this deck so far? Blood on the snow. Where is it? 
I need it. Ooh. Okay. What a grand fight. Take action, sure. He has enough mana to play it again. Um, I think maybe we just lose this. That's just a casual like eleven cost. Is it in the graveyard? No. What the hell is it? Here, here it is. Watch. One, two. Oh, oh, no, that's not it. Decline. And give up. You got seven. I mean, it's not nothing. Okay. Leaf can druid. I almost don't like, I mean, I don't think I like this hand at all, to be honest. Mulligan. I don't like that one either. What is going on with this deck? There we go. That's something, at least. Um, let's see. What do we want? Get rid of the Elvish Warmaster for now. We'll get it back someday. No counters. That's good. Might counter the Glissa. He might have like just passed, just so it was like, oh, you, I don't have anything, you know. What do I want this on? Green. Get rid of that. I've been beaten by that before, and I don't much appreciate it. <laughs> okay, what do we got? No attacks. He's probably going to kill it. He probably has nothing but um, kill spells in his hand, I, I would I would assume. That's what people do in blue-black. I mean, I, why wouldn't you, right? Here comes go for the throat or something equivalent. Or he's just reading it. No, he's... Uh, he's... Maybe they don't know what first strike is. Okay, what do we got? Wow, you couldn't mill any of my two drops? Cool, dude. Um, let's see. Guess we're drawing a card. Mill is going to help them, isn't it? Counter. Don't you wish you had that counter for Glissa? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. I mean, it probably would have just helped him, honestly. All right, so I don't care about my uh, my health total. My life total is fine. I'll take three. Fine. Draw a card if your library has more. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Hmm. What do I want to do? You know what? Let's try. It. Let's get him to counter it again. Tyvar is not going to help us in this game, so let's just let it, let him use all his counters on that. Sweet. The more counters he uses, because we do have ramp in here, so it's, that's that's fine.
Still have 79 cards left in the deck. Drown secrets. Maybe cast a blue spell. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to attack with both. All right, let's see. What do we got? We got... Mm, hard counter, probably. Okay with that. Cool. Okay. Take action. Um, sure. And then, you know what? Let's go ahead and destroy target enchantment. Get out of here. Get out of here, enchantment. You don't belong in this world. It was not by my hand that I was once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wished to pay me tribute. Uh, if you haven't played Castlevania Symphony of the Night, it is one of the best games in the world. Oh, the voice acting is so bad. But also, so good. Non-creature... Wait, what is it? Non-creature spells you control can't be countered. Oh, that's good. I don't, I don't counter anything. Anyways. I'm put in the graveyard from anywhere. Exile it instead. Are you going to counter it? Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, buddy. All right, so what can we do with this? We can get Ulamog. They're not really doing a good job of milling us right now. Oh, well. Tap out, buddy. What you gonna do? Um. Let's see. We gotta do something here. Evolution Sage. Alright, let's see what happens. We're gonna get it all. He might have another board wipe, but for four mana in black, Damnation's not in this game, so I think we're okay. Can't cast your commander anymore. Not right now, at least. Now you'll counter it, right? Nice. So he's going to play his commander again. I'm okay with that, I think. Murderous Rider. Okay. Weird. Unless he has a, a land, he can't play his commander now. wonder why you wouldn't use Murderous Rider to kill something first and then use it. Um.
Gonna gain three, but he's gonna lose three. Oh, he gains two. Never mind. Um, so what do I want? Galissa is back! <laughs> the Sunslayer returns. Also, this dude played Bantu's Last Reckoning. Like, what? I, actually, I guess when you're in a pinch like that, it's not that bad of a card, but having your lands not on tap next turn, it's very, very hard to, to swallow. It's a hard pill. I don't know. I mean, use it only in the dire situations. And I don't think that was dire enough. All he really had to do was kill the, uh... Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Adapt 3. What does Adapt do? This creature has no plus... Okay. No, we're not doing that again. Four life left. Whatever will you do? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Is he going to kill it now? I think he is. Oh, yeah. Well, that's okay, right? Slowing me. It's all about slowing me down. Will it be enough? He's at four. So what does he kill? Probably the Incubation Druid. Canopy Tactician, actually. Hmm. That's the most expensive one, so let's just do it this way. You gonna counter it again? Bro. Bro. Auto pay? Let's make it fight to remember. You've got this. Um, what can help me here? He's gonna kill- he's gonna play that thing again, and then... Hmm. He's gonna hit it for three. How does the mill deck have almost as much cards as me? Come on. <laughs> so I gotta find something to kill that. Oh, what's he got? It's not consuming tide again. Oh, because he has to exile it. That's a that would be cool. I mean that would be kind of stupid if you if you didn't have to exile. Oh no. Oh no! Ashiok. Okay. Dream big tonight. You. Uh. 
Okay, so he has four mana left. Or he has two mana left, four life. Three, five. Um, let's see, what else can we do? I'm okay with all that. I mean, 62 cards left. That wasn't that much. Here, I'll help you. All right, that's everything I got, my guy. Let's see it. Let's see it to believe it. Oh, yeah, I play this uh, once and I, I win the game? Yep. Five cards. A lot of cards left. All right. Then discard a card. So that's another chance at getting a kill spell. If he can't deal with my board, though, we're just kind of screwed, right? Or if, if oh thief of sanity okay okay oh there goes my uh all right no two cards sure too bad that was a three drop. I think, do we just win? No, because he can block with two things. Well, no. Okay, so he blocks that. And yeah, I think we just win if he can't get rid If he can't get rid of anything, we win. If not, if, if, if he can, he's in it for another turn. Mm, okay. Really? Don't have to to win. Win. Uh, take action. I won't let you fall. Incubation Druid. I'm not playing my Tyvar into just open mana like this. So now we have 45 cards left. That's a lot of cards left to mill. One life left. Mills half their library, 22 cards. Okay, can you do it? This does four. I've also helped. <laughs> All right. Two cards left. Five cards left. Do you have it? Two cards. My turn. Um, good game. Good game. Oh, go for broke. Good game. Oh, we won. <laughs> oh, that was, 
That was a game right there. That was a game. Actually, that was pretty cool. That was pretty fun. Well, that is the deck. I think um, if I were to redo this deck and update it, probably get rid of the Izoni Thousand Eyed, the Poison Tip Archer, because that really didn't do anything for us. Um, possibly the Golgari Fine Broker, but it's nice to be able to get your permanents back. Uh, and maybe put in a, a Cultivate and or a Beanstalk Giant. Beanstalk Giants are good. Um, maybe take out the Nissa. Because the Nissa's uh, okay, but like if you're not playing Mono Green and you have a bunch of... Um, uh, forests, then she she gets cut in half. Her power gets cut in half. You know, it's like it's like oh, I have uh, I have swamps on the field, and they don't you know tap for double. Um, yeah. So that is it. That's the video. <laughs> My mind went somewhere else right there for a minute. Does this ever happen to you where you just like you lose track of like what you're saying and what you're doing? Oh man, uh, my mind is going. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you would change about the deck. If you, if you, uh, I think I've really, really went over it, but you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, once again, it's a uh, commander historic brawl, take a screenshot. I can't go through all, you know, 100. That would be like an insanely long video. <laughs> um, but let me know, uh, what you would take out, what you would put in all that kind of good stuff. Or what, wh what is your, uh, what is your ideal elf deck? What would you uh, make? I, I know Marwin, Marwin as a, uh, commander is awesome, but. You know, what's your ideal elf deck? Uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. Peace out, everybody. And have a great day.